From captain to chief, the vote seven to zero. Tim Akmashek moving into the top spot at the Beaumont Police Department. We share the words of support and some of the criticism from speakers, not about the new chief, but how the process played out. And our, our exclusive live interview on set with the new chief coming up. Plus, one Southeast Texas community concerned about ExxonMobil setting up a new facility in their backyards. We'll have this new report at 10 in minutes. And a few weekend showers in the forecast. Live from the KFDM studios, you're watching KFDM 6 News tonight at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Kimberly Roosley. We begin with breaking news right here off the top. Beaumont City Council has voted unanimously 7-0 to zero to confirm Captain Tim Oknashek as the next police chief. City Manager Kenneth Williams appointed Akneshek chief. He served 38 years with the department and 17 years as emergency management coordinator. He'll begin work officially Thursday. About three weeks ago, council voted against confirming the manager's appointment of Troy Price as chief. Price is an assistant chief in Vancouver, Washington. KFDM's Taylor Justice just back from the meeting today and joining us now in studio. Taylor. Kimberly, City Manager Kenneth Williams says despite some criticism from the public, the process worked exactly as it should, and the best man got the job. He'll replace longtime chief Jim Singletary, retiring after a dozen years as chief and 54 years with BPD. A number of speakers talked about the selection process. Some complained, saying council should have confirmed the city manager's first appointment. They questioned spending tens of thousands of dollars on a search firm and not following the end result. Some called a racial issue. Others spoke in support of the process. The city manager, Kenneth Williams, saying the end result is the best candidate and Tim Oknacek. All other council members supported the new chief, saying he's the best man for the job. Here are some of the comments from those who spoke before council, including outgoing Chief Jim Singletary, who spoke in support of his captain, now the chief, saying he'll do an outstanding job. Mr. Hey, Williams has come up with a good man. I know this man. And he's been, uh, he's been a, a police officer over 33 years. He is a good man. I, I hate, almost hate, that he's a white man. That makes me sick that I feel like that. He is, he is a good man, and he'll be a good chief. Why don't we give him a chance? Why would three councilmen and the mayor first uh, choice for a police chief, um, why would they not accept or why would they vote against the recommendation of the uh, city manager? I have no idea. I was looking forward to somebody new, not nobody local, somebody new, some fresh blood to clean up this mess. Let's analyze the new requirement. With DEI being a mantra ostracized across, across the country, especially in Texas, it is with some trepidation that we believe this new requirement was a way of ensuring white privilege. To uh, piggyback on what Councilman Samuel said about people standing there when times are rough, all that was said tonight, he was standing right there. Never moved. He stood right there and listened to everything that everybody has to say. And I'm pretty sure that he, he's going to take action on some of those, um, whatever he has control over. You can watch the entire meeting on our KFDM Facebook page. Kimberly. All right, Taylor, thank you so much. And right now, the new Beaumont Police Chief joins us in studio to talk about the confirmation vote. And we want to thank you again so much uh, for stopping by. You literally drove straight from the meeting to here, so yes. we appreciate you. Uh, and now, Chief Oknashek, uh, Oknashek we have uh, questions for you uh, tonight about your new appointment. And we want to first know, did you ever have any doubts about the outcome? Oh, yes. It's been a long process. So, you know, I'm thankful there was a lot of conversation tonight. Again, like y'all said about the process mainly, but, um, you know, this, our department's been moving forward in community relations for a long time. And, and it's sometimes it's, it's disheartening to hear 
uh, negative comments and we're always trying to do better and make things better. So um, I'm looking forward to opportunity to try to uh, get, win the trust of, of some people that, that, you know, have concerns. And then how do you do that at this point? How do you win the trust of people who have doubts right now about not only the department as a whole, but as the city coming together and maybe some who maybe even think about other options as police chief? Right. Well, you know, I think the, the message council sent, I'm very, I'm overwhelmingly appreciative of, of a, a unanimous vote. I think that sends a message to the community. Uh, they're listening to their constituents. Uh, I, I think it sends a message to our department, to me, uh, going forward that we can unite, that we can work towards the same goal. Uh, I, I get out there in community, as you, you hear, a lot and I like to talk to people, whether it's on the street level or, or in a meeting or, or in a community meeting, but just uh, I think that's the big thing is to let, allow people to give us their input and to be there when they have a concern. And a number of people spoke to council uh, prior to the vote, uh, criticizing them for disregarding the city manager's first appointment after hiring a search firm to help. What is your response and how do you want to help reach out to the community, the entire community? Well, again, the, the way the process was going, I'm part of that process. I'm an applicant and I put in for this job from the get go. And I was, uh, I'm just thankful that I had an opportunity to make it. And uh, I really appreciate the words that the manager uh, spoke. Uh, we've, we've talked since probably his second day at the city. Uh, we had uh, conversations about, you know, his expectations for emergency management and we've had a close working relationship over the years. And I, I really uh, appreciate his words of support and, uh, and his recommended me. And last thing we wanna squeeze in here really quickly, I have about 30 seconds left for you. You have some big shoes to fill uh, following yes. Chief Singletary. Um, talk about what you've learned from him over the years and how you're going to kind of put your own stamp on the Beaumont Police Department. Well, I, I think two big, huge things that he's done is bring the, uh, the, the department itself and the community closer together. Uh, we get really involved in the community and there's a lot of more transparency. And I, I hear that in council comments, I hear it in community comments that they want transparency. So we're working towards that. We've uh, in, worked with the city communications department. We publicized a new website uh, we're getting out there in community, meeting and greeting and talking, and I think that's uh, uh, going to continue helping, and we're going to continue that.